tears flowed as five-year-old Kayla Booman's short life was remembered by his family and members of the Bella Vista community, south of Johannesburg, at a memorial service on Wednesday. Booman died after being severely beaten to death by his 35-year-old father, Sasek Bosak, on Thursday. Bozak abandoned his bail application on Monday when he appeared in the Johannesburg Magistrates' Court. The memorial service was held under a small stretch tent in front of the flat where the boy lived with his aunt, Vivian Bozak. A photograph of the five-year-old lay next to a bouquet of white and blue flowers on a draped small table. Vivian lived with Uman until his father took him to bond with him after he was released from prison in February for assaulting him. Bozak was released after assault charges were dropped against him. He had been arrested in December. Johannesburg's member of the Mayoral Committee for Social Development, Dr. Impo Falatza, said the boy's death was tragic and disturbing. We knew about the abuse. It was reported and there was an arrest made. But it was irresponsible for the father to be released. He was released before he could get the help he needed. This boy was robbed of an opportunity to express himself and be a gift to use, Falatza said. She said there needed to be an investigation into why Bozak was released from prison after he was arrested for assaulting Uman on a previous occasion. We will drill down to what happened and find out who dropped the ball, said Falatza. Rashida Land is a ward councillor at Chrisville, south of Johannesburg, said Caleb did not deserve what he went through. I fought with Say6. I put in rehab, but his strike killed our Caleb. Uman's mother Mercia, who lives in Wellcom, was not at the memorial service due to financial constraints. Anastasia Jacobs, the chairperson of local drug action committee in Boysens, said the boy would be buried in Wellcom on Saturday. She said the community was shocked to hear that charges against Bozak had previously been dropped. We as the community are asking ourselves why the charges were dropped in the first place. Bozak is due back in court on October 4th.